Welcome back guys to our channel. This is Jens here from All Star Space. And although we cover a lot of new tech items, we do go back and check on previous generations for software updates and enhancements that are available. In this case, it is the Tab S6. No, we didn't neglect you. That's why we're doing this video today. Highly informative, of course, for you guys. For the One UI 2.5 update, it is available now for the Tab S6. And the way I would describe this update is there isn't like you don't have 20 available new features, but you have a couple of three main features available that probably are more interesting to many of you guys than having a 20 feature list update that nobody needs. So let's get into this. Coming from a 2.1 to 2.5 version, the first update really is the network quality information. And what does it mean? Well, let me demonstrate to you guys. This is almost self-explanatory. And this feature is really designed to give you some sort of idea about network speed and performance when you choose a wireless connection from your list from uh, available Wi-Fi networks. And here you have basically different things that you can see uh, in terms of speed. When it says it is very fast, then you also have kind of a term explanation behind it. It is self-explanatory. However, take that with a pinch of salt because the um, research I did was that it is only available for Samsung or Google routers. The reason why I did that research is because I couldn't get that working on our home router here. So again, it is available as long as you have Samsung and or Google. Next one up is multitasking. And we did have multitasking available with the 2.1. The 2.5 update will give you a free section window. Basically, you can split it into three sections, a free window multitasking. Free. There you go. I will demonstrate that quickly to you, for you. We do get a lot of questions, however, with regards to can you open the same application twice? The answer is no, but there is a workaround I would like to demonstrate to you guys now. Let me go to... Um, YouTube here and open YouTube. What you can see here when you slide your application slider here, that YouTube, you can basically, YouTube is already running and tells you, but what you can do is let me open um, Samsung Note first so you can see that is split screen. And if you want to have the same application open twice, you can basically do it this way. Um, sorry, wrong one. You open up Chrome, you put it down here, and then you have YouTube here and YouTube here. The same you can do with Office applications. You can have the installed Office application running on the left-hand side or wherever you want it to. And then you can drag down the 365 uh, web version here and you can basically have two of the same documents open right here. So it does work. It is available now for the Tab S6 here. So next one is probably the most important one to you guys. It was for me though, because the Tab S6 now supports wireless DEX. The way you do it is you go basically slide down from your menu, you see the DEX icon there and you keep pressing it. You don't just press once, you press it, keep holding it until the uh, available list of devices comes up as you can see here. You press connect and it will then automatically connect to the device you have chosen. So that's pretty cool. Next one up is basically will give you a message and it will tell you that you need to go to your notification settings. So you slide down, look in your notification and it will tell you that just press the touchpad availability and then you can use your touchpad for that. And then really all the options are endless. You can then basically um, use it as you please, just your normal decks, but hey, it's wireless, right? So we open up again, we open up Asphalt 9 and you can see that you can basically sit on your couch and you don't have to work um, or open up Word documents. You can also play if you connect it to your telly like we did, we have a Samsung telly so that it works seamlessly. Asphalt 9 worked fine, there was no issues. But when we then moved on to Word documents, that was also interesting because you don't actually need a keyboard. You could sit there um, wherever you want, um, in your chair or on your couch and alter these documents via the onboard keyboard you get basically popping up when you uh, want to alter the uh, or a Word document. And also when it comes to wireless decks, it is important to mention that you basically, you will get that small pop-up screen at first and you can resize or force the applications to resize the window into a full blown out picture like we did here. It will guide you through this automatically. So no worries, you just basically press yes and uh, that's what's gonna do and restart the application and then voila, you are done. And you can basically put it on a huge telly or a screen on your desk. 
the last one, really, we tried to open up the wallpapers, the gallery we have, and that is kind of really scrolling through some pictures. So just to give you an idea of what is possible with the wireless DeX option and function, then I think it is one of the best upgrades Samsung has done for their Tab S line in general. And the Tab S7 works perfectly also on the Tab S6 here. We had no issues. I have to say though, the Tab S6 was really fast in everything we did. So that was um, kind of a, I wouldn't say a surprise, but we obviously have done the Tab S7 reviews. So it's no holding back and getting the Tab S6 now because you do have a lot of functions available. If you're into this, you probably can get a good deal. Guys, let us know in the comments below, have you got the One UI 2.5 update? How do you like it? Do you use wireless decks in general? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this brief informative video. Jens here from Also Space. Peace out.